hello friends so I'm back with my new video and for this moment I brought a fix for everybody who have this Asus Tough gaming A15 laptops and those who have 144 hertz panel like me and they have a problem of like this somewhat like flickering issues when you go outside from 60 to 144 you get this flickering issues you can see so again and again getting the flickering issues uh, like one time because I fixed it right now but this flickering issues that you have seen right now if you are having that problem so you have to do a custom resolution fix and it works till 139 Hz you see no flickering is there but when we uh, go to 140 or above it the flickering continues to come you can see the flickering ratios coming and you cannot work like this so how I fixed it oh well uh, currently I'm running at 139 Hz I am checking it for you guys and you can see I'm having no problem or anything like that so which software has saved me I will be giving you the link down below the description uh, you could go ahead and download it once you download you will see uh, you need to extract it on the desktop and you will find a file like this so just simply right click and run it as administrator okay one shot you have come into the administrator mode you just need to select okay select the mode double click it like if you have 60 hertz the second would be for you a uh, 144 hertz just go double click and edit it to 140 or you can edit it to 139 so yeah it's always you can keep two to three more than that it won't allow you it's a manual shit so make sure you change your refresh rate to 139 then hit apply ok as I have already applied and yes you need to restart your laptop to apply it so once you restart it you will come to your settings and you will see that uh, the applied uh, hers that you have applied over here to the resolution has been applied directly so I have made four charts like 60 hertz is the normal then 122 hertz then 139 and 140 is the last limit I can push my lash uh, well uh, for me 139 122 <laughs> works amazingly and unfortunately 144 140 hertz is not working fine in my display moreover you could try uh, go ahead and try if it works it's more than enough well uh, this is the exact fix that I have found till now from the research I've gone through and yes I have been working with this uh, I have played many games in the settings I have no issues with that even if I remove the charger you can see no flickering issues or so <laughs> right you can see it okay no flickering issues or something I'm again making uh, back the charger online plug-in performance it has come back to normal so yeah once again uh, but you can see uh, going to 140 hertz it is an issue like you you can see you know again if I disconnect this and connect this it's not getting that issue but uh, playing in that in 140 hertz is an issue for me so that's why I haven't reverted it to 140 hertz I'm uh, currently at 139 hertz that is much better for me so I am in this mode only for any queries or anything if you haven't understood in these steps you can go ahead and reach me in the comment section below and yeah uh, unfortunately we have no fix out and I literally believe it's a driver issue not hardware issue if it would be a hardware issue then uh, the display should have gone off and if it's totally a uh, hardware issue then yes Arsos is a big letdown because we have paid enough for a 144 hertz system uh, it's up to them they should bring a fix for this well yes again this gaming laptop is one ahead of time I have I literally do all my personal works and VFX stuffs in this laptop you can see my desktop is overhead with everything I used to run blender I used to run you can see this blender this after effects and there are many many high hi-fi uh, softwares I use in it I have no literal issues with it this is a one perfect beast of machine if you are in the field of editing or gaming it's amazing but yes it's a complete letdown to us I don't know why Asus has did this in the turf edition it's a big letdown if you're planning to buy this edition laptop please be aware that after 
uh, one year or six to seven months the display goes off and it is having a minor majority of issues after you upgrade into windows 11 for me i have seen some issues at windows 10 but it was not that brilliant uh, or prominent issues have been seen there but after i have transformed it to uh, after i came to windows 11 it has been a bigger issue for me i am unable literally unable to do any haptic works at the very face sheet i have sh shown you so yeah this fix working fine for me and i have did a great r and i have played many games in this resolution and it's amazing performance so yeah those who are having a head down to all this you can really apply this and see for your own self well i will be back with my more fixes for and please please support me it's my new channel and uh, old is uh, not a new it's an old channel yes i need your support i need your likes i need your reviews i need your comments please help me grow in it and if you find it amazing please give a thumb sign and do subscribe my channel thank you